you guys we have made a lot of progress on that house but one thing that is coming is springtime lawn and it is getting deep and thick so i get to actually mow this lawn for the first time ever now i know some people say well joel that's a silly task to be taken care of but you're wrong that's a wonderful task and it's already going to bring out the beauty of this yard For the day, my dad and I are going to be cleaning up the remnants of everything you see in here. And uh, it's been so nice having my dad help me with this project, to be honest. He says it's helping him, but he is helping me a lot more. We have to make sure that we read instructions really good. And there's three of you and one of me, and you're all different grades. So we'll just take it one thing at a time. So I have a chemistry test in here. It's not my forte, but... <laughs> look back at me she's like you're recording <laughs> okay I'll come in my room so I don't distract them I want to kind of give you just a little insight of like what's going on last week was our first week in quarantine honestly we kind of shut down everything there were brand deals that were shut down and postponed all of our vacations were postponed so we had a sponsored trip to Florida postponed. We had an RV trip that we were supposed to go on this week with my parents that we canceled. And actually they canceled. So the sites that we were planning on going to were automatically canceled and refunded. And companies are being really good. Not all, but a lot of companies are being really good to reimburse things that normally they wouldn't reimburse because everyone is being affected, you know, so I think they're being pretty lenient. This is the second week of social distancing, self-quarantine. Like I said, the first week we just hunkered down. We didn't do anything. I didn't check emails. Like, life was shut down. I woke up this morning, it's Monday, and it's almost like I wanted to just start fresh. Okay, you know, that was a bad week. Let's all start fresh and get back into work, but that's not how things are going. In fact, Bree showed up this morning to work and she said that her brother-in-law is being sent home from his mission because they're, you know, they're just sending planefuls of missionaries home. That's kind of heartbreaking. I know this is just kind of like a sit down and I hope it's not like boring, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling and kind of how things are actually going. And if you're wondering, you know, well, why is Brie coming into work? So Brie and I sat down together and I said, you know, what do you want to do here? If you don't want to miss out on a paycheck and you want to come into work, I'm happy to let you do that. If you feel like you need time off because you don't want to be around us and you want to quarantine yourself, like I'm like I'm 100% supportive of that and so we both kind of decided that we'll really play things by ear. So last week we kept pay the same and she had several days off just because both of us just wanted to be home. We both wanted that time. I mean, we just have a really good relationship where I treat you good, you treat me good. We very much care about each other. And so last week she kind of had some time off and this week she might have some time off at the end of the week, depending on what we need and depending on how things go. Things change day by day and so we're not really sure about that. But there's things that I have neglected that now that the initial shock of everything is over and we're learning what the new normal is, I'm jumping back in, not jumping back into things because we're making some major changes and I will, I will not go back to over planning myself where I'm going to make some big changes in my life and I think that this was a really big push towards those changes. There is a pile up of things and so today I went into the grocery store which was kind of weird like I was like oh I don't want to go to the grocery store but I did and I was able to get a few things that I wanted to share just like a tender mercy. There's a specific item that I needed for a brand deal and I went in I asked for it they said they didn't have it and so I was standing there looking in the section where it would be and I was kind of dazing off thinking okay what could I do what store could I go to next then my eyes focused on what I was looking at and there was one one amongst empty shelves and other items that wouldn't quite work for what I needed and I was just staring at the one item I just thought that was such just like a little blessing and it was just a little confirmation for me that God was saying I know that you're there and even though it might seem a little unimportant 
because I'm not worrying about getting the brand deal done because everyone in the world is understanding of timelines right now and things are out of our control. But as so many people are out of work, and even like with YouTube, I don't know if you guys know this, but maybe I'll tell you, is the amount of money that you make per like view or whatever goes up and down depending on like the economy. And so right now, we're seeing the effect that what we would have been making before all of this happened is much less. And so it does affect us, not the way it affects people that are losing their jobs. We still have a job, which I am so deeply grateful for. And that's the approach I was thinking with this brand deal that I'm trying to record is, this is something that I can still do. Obviously, I want to approach it with good timing. I, I initially was like, okay, I'm not doing this anymore. But now that supplies are slowly starting to stock in the shelves, I feel like it would be good timing. And so many people have told me, thank you so much for continuing to post your content because it gives us something to think about that takes our mind off what's going on, which that was really comforting to me. And so I hope that you know that I'm not just, oh, I'm gonna business, business as usual. I'm trying to think about how it will be received when I'm posting that kind of stuff. So anyway, I hope that gives you a little insight to what I'm thinking. Oh, I hope you guys can see this. There are bees buzzing all over this tree and it was just a really nice signal to me that it's spring is coming and I think that the sun coming out and spring coming will be so beneficial for everyone's morale. Lincoln, show me what you learned. <laughs> Good job. the kids if they did their homework if they did their piano practice and they were good kids we were able to come to the park so hey, I yep he sure did it's raining. so I don't think that we're going to go without rain for very long so if you want to go play go play and I'll tell you guys what I was working on today Jared did most of the work let's get real <laughs> but our Griffiths cookbook has been sold out. It sold out several times. We did not bring the physical book back, but we did convert it into an ebook. So if you go to griffithscookbook.com, which I'll have in the description for you guys, you can download a copy and it has our audio in it too. So we made some audio recordings of ourselves and it'll be in there too. You haven't even seen it, have you? Yeah, Jared showed me it. Oh, he did? What'd you I was think? I like one of the first to see it. So really? Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> so if you want to get that, it's available for you guys now. Was that you making all that noise? <laughs> I don't think that's quite how it works. These are really cool. I've never seen these. Look, do you know how to do it? No, no. Look, watch. Wait. Okay. All right, well, I don't know what I'm doing. Go ahead, do what you were doing. Get your feet separated, look. You gotta put weight on one side, one side, one side, one side. That's how you rock the boat, son. Lady. Lady, are you liking the rock of the boat? Are you dizzy? Probably more dizzy than I should be. You never get dizzy. Wild. Wow, somebody's getting old. Look at Boston. That's a tall slide, bud. All right. Good job. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe. It's free. Click that notification bell if you want to be notified when we upload our videos.